Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm back with another speed build and this is gonna be a pretty big one. Uh, this is a five bedroom house, but it could be up to seven or eight bedrooms depending on how you repurpose some of the other rooms that I have in this house. And I was imagining that eight Sims lived on this lot. So it's a pretty big family home. I was really excited to build this because it had been a while since I built a like regular home that was a pretty large build. I've been doing a lot of larger builds on the channel recently, uh, mostly townhouses since we got the for rent expansion pack. Uh, but this is something I actually started back in December and just finished uh, over the last couple of days. So it's been in the works for a long time and I'm very excited to share it with you. Uh, I think it came out really, really cute in the end and we are just working on the roofing now, trying to figure out the general shape of the house and moving it around on the lot as we do have a detached garage on this lot as well and so many different skill building items for the variety of sims that are here. I basically just had a lot of fun figuring out how these sims get along and their personalities and tried to portray that a lot in the house. So I'm really excited for you to see it. But first, thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Factor is a meal delivery service that sends you fresh, never frozen, chef crafted meals straight to your door. There are no hassle prepared foods. Make sure you always have something nutritious on hand when you're too busy to think about cooking for lunch or dinner. I know when I'm gaming and creating content or maybe even editing, I can get so lost in what I'm doing and completely forget to eat, sometimes even order out or grab girl dinner. But Factor has helped me to break that cycle and eat healthier meals in just minutes, and they're delicious. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less, even faster than ordering in. Meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of over 34 meal options and more than 36 add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts, and more. In this week's box, I chose a mixture of chicken dishes and pasta dishes, like spicy peanut grilled chicken and chicken pesto cavatappi. I mostly eat chicken for protein and not a lot of other meats, so it's great that Factor has so many options that fit my lifestyle. I decided to pop the chicken pesto cavatappi in the microwave for dinner last night while I had a busy night at my PC. It only took about two minutes and it was delicious. If you'd like to try Factor for yourself, use the link in my description and use code GRIFFYFEB50 to get 50% off your first Factor 75 box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots per order with an active subscription. Thank you again to Factor 75 for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to it. So I may have gotten a little bit of ahead of myself as we have not moved the house over on the lot yet or created that detached garage I had mentioned. Uh, but I am playing around with the roof and starting to paint that now. And we have the general shape of what the front of the house is going to look like. I haven't really done the back of the house yet. And I don't remember if I kept that footage in or not uh, because it ends up being pretty similar to the front. I tried to sort of mirror it in the back. It's a little bit different, but uh, I didn't focus too much on making it drastically different because I really liked how the front looked. Uh, I am adding a little chimney over on the side of the house here though and adding some wallpapers. I tried a few different things and I'm pretty happy with what I went with in the end, but you'll see me playing around with that now and trying to figure out what color scheme I wanted to go for, what sort of textures, and uh, it's always a bit of fun to try and experiment with that. I also really enjoyed the roofing I have in this front bit here where I have the smaller roof pieces coming out on either side. They look kind of silly, but I also really like it. And it's something that I see a lot in real life, but I've never really done in The Sims. Or if I have, it's probably been a really long time because I don't remember doing it. Uh, and then here on the front porch, I decided to add a half wall instead of a fence. And I also added a bunch of the shutters around the build. Uh, these are from the Horse Ranch expansion pack, and I did scale them up with tool to fit the space a little bit better. And the windows and doors I'm using primarily in this build, I believe, are from Discovery University, which are really, really pretty. And uh, if you can't tell from the outside of this house and how like brown and neutral and black it is, the inside of this house is very neutral and <laughs> very black, white, brown, beige, all of that. And uh, I thought that that would be a fun idea because I was also imagining this was a family home. And in real life, houses like this exist. But for some reason in The Sims, I tend to only go for this color scheme if it's like one or two Sims or a couple or roommates, but not families. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to combine those ideas and try to figure out the best way to make that work. So having kids in the house, there's going to be toys around and... Uh, also, their bedrooms are a little bit more colorful, but trying to figure out how this family handles wanting the house to look like perfect and pristine and all of that with 
a bunch of kids in the house. So uh, I'm excited for you to see the inside of that. I was imagining there were one or two parents living here as well as one or two grandparents. And then there is a teenager, two kids, and an infant. That already brings us up to eight Sims, uh, but I wanted it to have a cat in this house as well. So I did supply cat items. So if you wanted to change up the number of Sims you had in the house, uh, I was thinking a cat would live here too. And uh, I really liked that idea. I decided to call this, I think, a generations family home because I did have the grandparents living here. I just thought it was a nice addition and I did end up having space for a bedroom on the main floor. So I thought it would be nice to have the grandparents and not have to use the steps and they could have the bottom floor and it's a pretty spacious bedroom. Honestly, this whole house has a lot of space in it because it's so big, but uh, there is that detached garage I had mentioned. I end up mostly just having some skill building items in there. It ends up having laundry as well, which is a little weird because it's not attached to the main house, but I thought it was kind of a fun spot to put that and I didn't decide to include a laundry room in the interior. Uh, we probably could have because there are quite a few other rooms in here and there's even a home gym. So if you wanted to repurpose that into a laundry room or another bedroom, that's a possibility. Like I said, there's a bunch of extra rooms in this house that could be repurposed into other things. We have a playroom, we have an office, there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, but now I am working on the landscaping, trying to get some trees and flowers. I had drawn out some of the terrain paint here to give myself like a guide on what areas I wanted to fill out with all sorts of greenery and using some of my favorite low-lying bushes from base game. And I primarily went with greens in here, but I do have a couple of these hydrangeas as well. And uh, basically a lot of shalivate objects. <laughs> That's most of my landscaping nowadays anyway, but uh, I did think that this looked really nice in the end. And uh, I'm really proud of this build. If you do like it and you'd like to download it, by the way, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Uh, right now, I'm just adding some fences to the front of the lot. These are actually also Shalivet Objects fences. I believe these ones are from high school years and I decided to put a little bit of grass growing around them. I think that's pretty realistic uh, because you'd need to get like a weed whacker to get really close up to that and uh, keep that trimmed nicely. A <laughs> lawnmower would not cut it for that. Uh, and actually, I've always thought it was interesting that we don't have that sort of chore in The Sims. We, we've got laundry added, kind of have vacuums added like dust bunnies and stuff with the bust the dust kit, uh, but there's no grass growing in our games. Uh, and that'd be an interesting chore to have your Sims do. Uh, I believe House Flipper, the original one, has an expansion or an update. I think it's an expansion that allows you to like manicure lawns and stuff. And I think that's kind of fun. And there's also... I believe a lawn mowing simulator game. So I guess that's why I'm thinking about that. I like uh, those sorts of games and I think it'd be kind of cool if you could actually have your Sims maintain a lawn. But regardless, uh, we don't have that and I feel like it'd be a lot of work for your Sims, so it's okay. Anyway, we're in the backyard now. I do have a pool out here. There is also a hot tub and it will be coming back to this backyard at the end of the build to add like some seating for the family for like eating outside and all of that because I didn't add a table and chairs when I first started working on this. I did get a swing set out here though. I thought that that was nice for the kids, but as you can see, it's very neutral. It's like a nice modern black uh, swing set with lights and greenery on it and it's gorgeous. I love it, but it doesn't have a lot of like fun kid personality to it which was definitely the vibe I was going for for the majority of this house. And you'll see that when we get to the inside. Uh, but I did let the kids, you know, decorate their own rooms with the exception of the infant who is too young to pick out their own decor. So their room is a little bit sad, but they have some toys around the house and uh, lots of things in the playroom that we have here. And I actually really like the infant's room. It's really neutral and obviously that's not necessarily everyone's cup of tea and maybe not the best thing for an infant, but I think the parents were just trying to decorate the space to match the style of the rest of the house, which makes sense. And uh, I think it came out okay in the end. Uh, but anyway, I'm working on the floor plan now for the inside. I end up having a formal sitting room as well as a family room, uh, which is not something I do in a lot of houses, but it is something that's pretty realistic in most houses. And I, I believe <laughs> I talked about my experience with that growing up in one of my recent videos where my house was supposed to have both of those, but you know, th they weren't that. And uh, 
our, uh, I think, formal sitting room was a computer room. <laughs> so I I never had a functional version of having two like family spaces. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be where the kitchen is. I do end up using these counters from base game. I believe I tried some other ones that I cut out. I want to say I tried horse ranch and it just really didn't fit the vibe I wanted to go for in here. Uh, the inside of this house is, I, I wouldn't say overly modern or traditional. I guess it's transitional. Uh, it's kind of a mixture of the two and I really like that. It feels like it's new and taken care of and everything's clean and pristine for the most part. There's a couple of things out of place and I don't think the parents are very happy about it. Uh, but <laughs> that's the kid's fault. And uh, I just, I loved the concept of this family. And I also, as I was going, was getting more ideas. So for example, the kids in this house, I'm imagining they're twins, they share a bedroom. And they, I imagine, are like best friends with their grandpa who lives in this house. And uh, so I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to their room. But I, I was thinking a lot of just like the personalities and the way the Sims in this house get along and added little touches throughout that referenced that. Uh, but of course, like this could be used for any family you would like. You don't have to have the Sims I had in mind. I just think it's more fun to think of those storylines when I'm building. And I do a lot of that over on my Twitch channel as well. Uh, we'll talk about like different personalities for Sims and different family dynamics and try and incorporate that into builds. Uh, so if you'd like to ever join us, I am live three to five days a week over on twitch.tv slash Griffey, and uh, it's always a lot of fun. So I believe I actually I don't know what day this is going up, so I'm not going to say if I'm live tonight or not, but uh, you can always check on our Discord server, which is always linked down below or on my Twitter. I always post when I'm live on both of those platforms, primarily Discord. So uh, that'd be a good place to follow if you're interested in joining the streams in the future. But uh, continuing on with the kitchen, I decided to add some appliances over here. So I do have the kettle and the pressure cooker. I did think about adding an espresso machine over here, but I got rid of it in the end. I'm not really sure why, uh, but I opted to not have that. And then I added some stools in the middle of the room. That is not technically an island counter, so the stools don't actually snap to it. Uh, but your sim should be able to still sit there and hold their food to eat it if you'd like to. I just liked how it looked, so that's why I did that. I was also able to fit a full dining table in here with four chairs. And there's a bar in this kitchen as well. It's just a really big kitchen. Uh, but we do have a more formal area for dining as well with a much bigger table. There are so many places to sit to eat and sit to relax and just chill in this house. I wanted to make sure that there was no shortage of that since I was imagining a fairly large family here. I could also see this being a good spot for like get togethers and stuff, inviting friends over, throwing parties, all of that. Uh, so this is that dining room off of the kitchen. It is a big like living space. I end up having like a nice seating area in the middle of the room in front of the fireplace as well as like a more formal sitting area over on the other side of the room. So in front of the fireplace, it ends up just being a couple of chairs and a piano in that area, which I think looks really nice. And it's an item that I just always want to use now. And it's always something that I enjoy when I'm able to find a spot for it. So uh, I will be getting rid of that hutch, unfortunately, <laughs> so that I can fit a standing piano instead. And then I end up having three sofas over here, which are all the same one, but I end up having just like a formal dining area using these sofas from the Cottage Living Pack. I think they're really pretty and I changed those swatches so many different times. Uh, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to go for and I believe they end up being like a dark gray, almost black in the end. And I add some cushions to them a little bit later just to make it look a little bit cozier and add a little bit more uh, variety even though, you know, most of this space is all the same pretty strict color scheme. I thought it was just nice to represent that uh, because lots of people have these homes. Uh, I don't think they're the most common home, but like these Sims obviously have a lot of money. I think this house is 200 something thousand simoleons. Uh, the full price will be in the description down below. I always make sure to include the price as well as like all the information about this lot, like where to place it and the size of the lot and all of that uh, for the gallery. So if you're curious on that, that will be in the description. Uh, but here I am just adding a mirror to uh, this fireplace and you can see those two chairs super cozy in front of the fireplace. Uh, I just thought it'd be nice. I was thinking you could turn them towards the piano if you're watching somebody play or towards the fireplace if you're just cozying up there. Uh, really, this whole space is supposed to be way more formal. So 
I thought it was okay to have interesting like seating spaces like that. But these are the sofa cushions that I grabbed. They're from the Modern Lux kit and I thought that this brown looked really nice. I feel like growing up I was taught brown and black don't go together, but as an adult I really like it and I use it a lot. Uh, so that's what I ended up doing here. I also got a tea set in this space and a cozy basket of blankets. I'm pretty sure I ended up going, yeah, I went with the one with Eco Life, from Eco Lifestyle in the end uh, just because it felt a little bit warmer because the swatches just were not working from the Cottage Living one. And then I also got some wall sconces and then we're moving into the family living room. Uh, still pretty modern, but a little bit more laid back. Well, I guess the other one's not modern. This one's more modern um, and it's still kind of fancy, but more laid back is what I meant to say. Uh, I thought about using this table from, I think that's Courtyard Oasis, but I ended up going with the Space Game one in the end. I also got a rocking chair in here and I used this lamp all over the house. <laughs> I just love that lamp. I think it's from Growing Together. It quickly became my favorite lamp in the game and I overuse it, but it's such a nice, simple piece. Uh, and then I put a couple of decorations up on the mantle, I believe, some books. We also have this like little sculpture piece uh, from the Modern Lux kit. And I think I got some candles up there as well. I don't go too overboard. I get a couple of decorations. I wanted this space to feel lived in. Uh, like I like adding that box from Growing Together. That's like a hand-me-down box. I think that's a really cool item. And I think I got a plant over here as well. And then this room actually does have like some toys and things in it. I tried to keep it still pretty clean. Like I really feel like this family tries to keep everything to a minimum. Uh, but I thought having this portable crib made a lot of sense for a family that has an infant. So I decided to bring that down here. Of course, it's in beige. It matches uh, the rest of the space. But I thought that that was kind of a fun idea. So I do end up having that down here. And there's some toys. And I also had a fish tank in this space, which I really enjoy. It's just also a, a thing that I think of when I think of family homes. Uh, because I also mentioned I had a fish room in my house growing up. Uh, we had so many fish tanks and turtle tank. And uh, so I always just associate family homes with fish tanks. So I thought it would be kind of a fun idea to add that in here. And I made it sort of a built-in unit where we have bookcases all around it. And I filled these up with all sorts of clutter, uh, plants, and these sculptures. And I just think it's really cute and adds some personality to this house, which otherwise feels a little bit boring and like, I don't know, almost like a, a show home. Uh, so a lot of that personality comes out in this room. It's just they have their more formal spaces. They try and keep more clean. And I think for the most part that this room stays that way too. And uh, I was thinking that that one dirty mug on the table, maybe the teenager left there and the parents are not very happy about it. I did end up having lots of toys in here though. And we have a couple of those art tables over by the window and I'm adding some cat stuff in here as well. Uh, so there is quite a full family in this space. And I think I did an okay job at making it feel cozy and uh, like inviting and family friendly without using a bunch of color. It's very neutral, but uh, I was pretty happy with it. But anyway, this is going to be the office that I have in the house. I just thought it'd be nice to have at least one dedicated office. Uh, it's pretty realistic nowadays to work from home. And I just have trouble finding a place to put down a PC in most houses. Uh, I know in my apartment, like I have an office, but that's because I do a lot of content creation and I have my whole PC set up and do a lot of like gaming on it. But a lot of people don't have like a sit down office like this. Uh, well, I guess more so now they do after the last few years, but I think it's a good way to find a spot to put a computer in a Sims house. I sometimes will just throw down like a laptop on a table or something, but it made sense for this big house to have this dedicated office area. But once again, this is one of those rooms you could repurpose and make it whatever you'd like. It is in the front of the house though, so I would keep that in mind uh, if you don't want like a bedroom facing the front yard. <laughs> it's like right near the entry. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. But over here, I decided to add this little side table. I was thinking it was a good spot to store some files. I didn't want to use actual filing cabinets in this house or in this office just because they felt a little bit, I don't know the word for it. I felt like I wanted like an actual piece of furniture that looked a little bit more stylish. That's what I meant. Um, and then I got some more books over here and I got a couple of postcards up on this board. Only a few because I thought it would be a little bit too busy in that office space to have too many because I was thinking it was more of a workspace than just a relaxing area or a gaming area. Uh, this is the little gym. It's very small. <laughs> so it just has a couple of items in here. I believe I get a yoga mat in here as well and a TV. So it's it's pretty simple. And uh, 
I didn't go too overboard with the decorations. I didn't want it to feel too cluttered. I feel like this is a space that would be really clean. And generally, I think this house is like that, uh, with the exception of like the kids' rooms, which you'll see when we get to them. But just got the yoga mat, a little plant, uh, the rolled up yoga mat, and this little side table under the TV. I've been really enjoying using the frame TVs. That's like such a nice item. I use it in a lot of builds and it came in a lot of handy in this build. Uh, so this bedroom over here is actually going to be for the grandparents in this house. So it's a little bit more on the traditional side, but it still matches the rest of the house. And I decided to go with this bed from Cats and Dogs in this blue swatch. Uh, so there's a lot of blue in this room, but I think it's really muted and cozy. And I love this rug from the uh, for rent expansion pack with the leaves on it. And that's also where the bedside tables are from. They were a pretty good match wood tone wise for the bed. Uh, so I thought those would look nice. And I was thinking this was like a wedding portrait of the grandparents. Uh, I end up moving that so it's not right over the bed, but it does stay in this room. I just thought it was kind of a cute idea. And then I'm trying to figure out what to put on the bedside tables to make them feel like they have some specific clutter on them, but also felt more like grandparents than the primary bedroom. Uh, I don't know if I really achieved that. I tried my best. I ended up using this little like old toy from the basement treasures kit. It feels like something like a cute little knickknack that grandparents might have kept. So I decided to keep that over there. And then I got like some change and a little box and a little bunny. Uh, it's pretty simple, but I tried to add some personality in here. Hopefully it comes across. Uh, and then I believe what I end up actually having up above the bed, I'm going to do a little bit later. I believe I put a wreath up there. Uh, I think it's the one from Laundry Day and it came in a blue swatch, so it looked really pretty. I also got this gorgeous mirror over here. I use this one a lot now. It is from the Basement Treasures kit and it's just so pretty. Also, because this is such a big family, I did put a lot of these photo frames around the house so your Sims, whoever you have living here, could fill them up with family portraits. It made a lot of sense to me and I feel like the grandparents would probably have that. I was thinking the big one would probably be like a family reunion photo or something like that or maybe their wedding photo. That could be cute especially like an old couple and it's like their old wedding photo from, I don't know, 50 years ago. I love that idea. So that could be nice. And then I just got a couple of knickknacks over here. I was thinking the duck was the grandpa's. <laughs> I thought that that was kind of a fun idea. I was kind of imagining he was really into woodworking and fishing. Uh, so you'll see that be a little bit more present in the garage when we get to that a little bit later. But right now we are in the entryway. I just got this little side table, which is actually a dresser from the uh, for rent expansion pack and I think it is so pretty. I've been using it a lot lately <laughs> because it looks like a side table but it functions as a dresser and the detail on the front is just really pretty and I feel like it works for a lot of different styles so it's been in a lot of my builds lately but I think it works so nicely here and there are some more of those empty frames you can fill up with your sims photos and then I just got a couple of other uh, photos going up the steps and then a coat rack as well which is from laundry day. I also made sure to include our temperature controls and a fire alarm. There's even a chess table in the front entryway and another plant. I think I use this plant in most rooms in the house. Uh, and then I got a couple of pieces of artwork in the hallway as well. And then this is going to be the downstairs bathroom. Uh, this is the main bathroom on this floor, but it also has a shower and some personal items in it because the grandparents are on this floor. So I believe there's dentures out here, which is kind of fun and uh, like just all of your basic bathroom stuff. It's a little bit more on the modern side. I am using the tile from Home Chef Hustle, which I believe I used in the kitchen as well. I really love that stuff pack. I know everyone is overusing it because it is so good, uh, but I feel like I just use the tile more than I use the counters, but I do love the counters. I pretty much love that entire stuff pack. Everything about it is amazing, so uh, <laughs> love to use that. But anyway, this is going to be the primary bedroom. I am using the bed from a Modern Luxe with these side tables from Cats and Dogs. And then, of course, just getting some bedside table clutter. I got some magazines, a place to put your glasses, some books, all of that kind of stuff, and a little plant. And I believe, yeah, I put a little photo back here as well. This one is from the Book Nook kit. And I believe I just got a quote. And we also had space to have like a sitting area. So I did end up putting a love seat in here. We also have a frame TV and a cat bed over in the corner. And this primary bedroom actually has a walk-in closet. So we're going to decorate that here in a moment as well. Uh, the way the floor plan worked out, your Sims actually walk into a walk-in closet and then walk through there to go to their ensuite bathroom, which I thought was really fun. So uh, <laughs> that is what we're doing now. I don't do this very often, but we do have these modular like closet pieces that we got with Dream Home Decorator. So 
that's what I'm using here and a combination of clothes from that horse ranch and high school years. And then just putting like some shoes and bags and piled up clothes and stuff in here. And we also got a rug. And I also ended up adding a vanity into this room as well. The one I used is from Modern Lux, but there are two other ones from Vintage Glamour if you have that stuff pack. I just thought that this one was perfect for this space, but the other ones would have worked as well. And then I just added some more modular pieces over here to make it look like there's a little bit of a bench under the window and got a little bit of makeup over here on the vanity as well. I do really like that tray item. It's from Parenthood and then everything else here is a mixture of uh, vintage glamour and the bathroom clutter kits. And then I got a couple of plants as well, which I think are from Eco Lifestyle. And that should be it for the walk-in closet. I didn't show the bathroom because they all pretty much look the same. So I only showed the one downstairs. The other ones I all decorated off camera. And then this is going to be the teenager's room. I was kind of imagining this teenager was really into music, maybe in a band. And uh, I ended up really going all out on that because I added some like musical equipment in the garage. I was thinking maybe they practice here with their band. I thought that was a really fun idea and something I haven't done in a while. So I decided to add that and we have some like CDs and messy clothes around here. This teenager probably leaves things around the house more often than the parents would like. Uh, they're a little bit on the messy side and I just thought that that was a fun idea and quite realistic. So I let some of that mess go wild in this room. Not like that much. It's just like one pile of stuff on the floor because we don't have a ton of items like that that your Sims can actually walk over if you put them on the ground. So I just opted for one and I also got a cow plant over here, which is really cute and some jewelry. Uh, I temporarily put that makeup there, but they end up having a desk in the end. So I put the makeup on the desk instead because they could use it as not only a desk, but a vanity. Uh, so I thought that that would be kind of fun. So going to start decorating that here now. And I also got a guitar in here. I thought that that made sense for the Sim. I believe that's one from Werewolves. I think it's a really cool one. And I actually ended up using quite a few Werewolves posters in here. I think they worked really well for uh, the vibe I was trying to get across, especially that open mouth one. It is such a cool poster. I added some like books and stuff, assuming this kid has some of their like school books out. Uh, they have some dirty mugs, a broken mirror, and just like a bunch of stuff around. I really like how this room came out. It might be one of my favorites of the house, one of the favorite bedrooms, but this is going to be the kids' bedroom. I did use these beds from the Parenthood stuff or exp game pack. There's too many types of packs now. Um, <laughs> And I thought that they were really pretty and I paired them with the space rug that we got with base game and then just tried to add a bunch of decor to the space. I was thinking one of them was kind of into space and the other one was into void critters. So I kind of combined that together in this space and made it really blue and orange and full of those types of items. And then I decided to add this mirror that doesn't really fit the style at all, but it looks like it's handmade. It's from Outdoor Retreat. And I was thinking that their grandpa helped them make that mirror and they pretty much made it themselves with his supervision. Uh, so that was the idea behind that mirror in the space. I thought it was just kind of a cute touch and something quite realistic as well. Uh, so I added that there and then just getting some toys over here. I also have some photos on the wall of probably their friends and stuff. A little height chart. And I actually ended up adding one of the science stations in here. I almost never put these in builds. Uh, because they just seem like something my sims or like in real life you wouldn't have but it's really cute but it's dangerous i'm pretty sure it catches fire pretty easily so be careful with that uh, be ready to put your sims out uh, but anyway this is going to be that infant's room i had mentioned that's very neutral right now i have a very colorful play mat in there but we're about to remove it and put it in the playroom instead uh, because it was too colorful for this room and it kind of clashed uh, but i do like how this room came out it does have a nice little bookcase a place for your sims to sit and rock the baby there is a changing table in here and we get some like simple white curtains and it's just really peaceful. I don't think it's necessarily the best like color wise for like infants in real life because I know high contrast and like different colors and stuff are really good for development but I do think that it looks really nice and it makes sense for this household that they would probably try and make it look like it fits in with the rest of the home but they do still have some stuff for the baby. It's in the other room. And obviously you saw some of it downstairs as well. And uh, the kids all have personality in their rooms. And as this kid gets older, I'm sure that the parents are going to let them decorate their space uh, however they'd like in their own room. But right now, while they're too young to choose, <laughs> the parents have gone ahead and just decorated it like the rest of the house. Uh, but this is that playroom. It kind of just is an extra room. They have their old couch in here. 
um, a couple of like toy boxes, the puppet station. I end up putting another TV up here. Uh, also, a uh, like castle dollhouse and the play mat that I had mentioned earlier. Just grabbing a bunch of stuff. I get some items from Parenthood as well. So the parenting board is in here if you want to set curfews and all of that. Uh, just all the stuff that I felt like didn't feel like it had a spot downstairs. I kind of chucked in here as a nice family play space and I could imagine lots of memories being made in here. Uh, it's just a really cute area, but we are moving out into the garage now and th this one came out kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of a strange layout I go for. I end up having like a greenhouse corner <laughs> where I add big windows and some planters in there because the space felt too big. And then I have an old rug here and I put some of the musical equipment I had imagined that the teenager was using with their friends for their band. Uh, and the piano I put in here is from Horse Ranch and I think it's really pretty. I haven't used that one much because it's such a specific style, but I liked the idea of having like an old piano that they have out here that the kids are able to use or the teen is able to use for their band. Uh, and this is where I'm adding the washer and dryer. There's also the woodworking table that grandpa helped the kids make that mirror at and I feel like this is just sort of his space. It's still very clean and put together but it's not as clean as the rest so there's like some boxes around. I also put a card table out here. I loved the idea of grandpa playing cards on Friday nights with his friends so uh, that is present here like an old bookshelf and I also put another one of these scouting boards. I didn't remember that I had one inside as well so there's a couple of them here if your Sims want to do some scouting. And then this is that little greenhouse I had mentioned. So I just have a couple vertical planters, a couple small planters, and the fishing rods for Grandpa. And then we're moving out to the backyard, adding that table with an umbrella I had mentioned. And I believe a floaty in the pool. And that should be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching and thank you again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out those links in the description and enjoy those screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.